arg arguably my favorite uh, team that had the best uh, the best transactions and most serious transactions. Uh, again, this is a 2015 2016 NBA preview. I'm doing this one on the Miami Heat, who I do believe they're setting up a way LeBron Eastern Conference final showdown. Winner goes on to the finals. Um, the Heat signed re-signed Goran Dragic, who came over from the Suns halfway through the league, league uh, half through the, half through halfway through the season uh, last year from the Suns. Goran Dragic. They signed him to a five-year, ninety million dollar deal. I love Goran Dragic. I think he's a stud. I think he gives him that scoring point guard, consistent point guard. Um, that edge at the point guard that they've been missing. Uh, then add that to Wade, who they re-signed to a one-year deal. One-year, $20 million deal. Let me get some water real quick. Um, so Dragic, Wade, Luel Dang, who's a championship type kind of small forward, um, a la Andre Guadala, if they were to get down to that East Conference Finals, Finals type thing. Uh, Chris Bosh back, who just last year signed a max contract, the five-year, $110 million or whatever he signed last year. Uh, and then Hassan Whiteside, who be emerged last year. They put up a triple doubles with blocks, points, rebounds, blocks, a uh, big man. So they start, if they, if they start, oh, okay, so they start Goran Dragic, Dwayne Wade, Luel Dang, Chris Bosh, Hassan Whiteside. They also signed Gerald Green from the Suns, who had his best year last year. And Gerald Green's a great player to have because one, he's a great six man. Two, those nice Wade's off, put Gerald Green in the lineup with Dragic, Green, um, who both play together in Phoenix. So Dragic and Green are very aware of each other. But Dragic, Green, Dang, Bosch, Whiteside, that's a solid star um, lineup even without Wade. So put Wade in there. I'm sure Wade's gonna take some nights off. and um, Green, so Green can come in first off the bench for Wade or Dang. And then Mario Chalmers comes off the bench for Dragic, who I like more. I like Chalmers off the bench there. And they sign Amari Stoudemire, who might start some games too with Whiteside. Um, if Whiteside needs, I mean, if Bosch needs out because of his injury. So Amari and Whiteside, they also got Josh McRoberts. And they also got who I arguably, my favorite player in college last year, Justice Winslow, who they drafted. I thought they were going to have Shabazz and Napier too, but they traded him to the Magic. Good for the Magic. Um, but I think they're 10 deep. And, and you know, so you Udonis Haslam, James Jones. Um, or sorry, James Jones might be on Cavs, whatever. But so Goran Dragic, who I think is going to be a, a solid asset there, and they paid him big to be that, um, you know, 20, 21 a game, maybe 21. If you can go 21, eight assists, you can be up there. Uh, Wade, Dang, Bosch, Whiteside, Gerald Green off the bench, um, Amari Stoudemire, Mario Chalmers, Josh McRoberts, Justice Winslow. I put, when I did my power rankings, I put Heat number five, just for the simple fact in the season, I don't know if they will, because of Wade, um, you know, Wade, uh, resting Wade, maybe resting Bosch, I'm kind of playing more like the veteran kind of regular season. I don't know if they'll have a better record than maybe like the Bulls or, or like a hungry, like a Bulls team that's just very dominant in the season, regular season, or like if they'll have a better um, record than the Raptors, Wizards, young hungry teams who are going to stay fiery. So I had fifth in my power rankings, but right now I'm feeling it's going to be a Heat versus Cavs Eastern Conference Finals. Um, and, and, I, and I could see, I would, I'd, I'd enjoy seeing the Heat beat the Cavs, but we'll see. But um, I, yeah, so my, my, it's my NBA season, NBA 2015-2016 NBA season preview on the Miami Heat. Cheers.